537 of our local teens dead following a week of tragic car accidents. The most recent in Sugar Creek Township, where a truck veered off Wagner Road and hit a tree, killing three Bellbrook High School students and injuring three others. That happened over the weekend. A Springboro student was also killed last week when he lost control of his vehicle near his high school. And three other teens were killed in Greenville when their car recently went off the road as well. Officials tell us that losing control of their vehicle is the number one killer of teen drivers. That is why we took to the roads to help you keep your teen drivers safe. New at 530, Megan O'Rourke with the rules of the road and tips for young drivers. Megan. Mark, all three of the crashes you just mentioned have been single car accidents where the cars went off the road and then lost control. Overcorrecting is a common mistake both new and experienced drivers make. So today I went back to driving school and learned some valuable advice to avoid accidents like these. If it isn't a warning, I don't know what is. Like many in the community, Jeff Caldwell is concerned about the recent spike in fatal crashes involving teens in our community. The former Kettering police officer now owns PDS really Driving honest. School and says the accidents are proof our young drivers need better training. We need to better equip kids. We need to give them the ability to make quicker decisions. That's why Caldwell teaches his young drivers advanced skills, like how to control a skidding car and what to do if you drop off the pavement. You don't want to look at what you want to miss. You want to look at where you want the car to go and steer the car in that direction. We hopped in the car and headed to a country road, a common spot for a lot of single car crashes. I get a little speed going here. So people get distracted, the right side wheels drop off the side of the road, they hear the stones kicking up, and then it's just a little touch of the wheel and just let the car bring itself right back up. Not only does it sound simple, it is. In fact, pulling the wheel too hard or stepping on the pedals only leads to more problems. Okay, gas off. Go ahead and let it drop off. Just hold it down here a second. There you go. And then just a little touch. reaction is when you hear the rocks like you were saying. Oh, yeah. I gave it a try and found the most difficult part of getting back onto the pavement is fighting the tendency to overcorrect. Caldwell says that's a common mistake, especially if you haven't had the proper training. He compares driving a car to a police officer carrying a loaded gun and says teens need to be just as prepared, so their first response in an emergency is the right one. I certainly think we could better train kids. Uh, I think we could give them more tools on how to handle things. I think just basic driver's education isn't, isn't enough anymore. And that's why Caldwell encourages parents to do a couple of things. First, he says, make sure you spend lots of time in the car with your teen to identify any dangerous driving habits and then address them before it's too late. Also, he suggests creating a contract and enforcing any violations and always know who your teen is riding with. If the driver has a reputation for dangerous driving, simply don't let them go. All of it sounds simple, but Caldwell says all too often these are steps that aren't taken and they can have serious consequences. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.